This is the second segment of the 18 Lohan Qigong video. As previously explained, these exercises are intended for people who are engaged in the study of martial arts or engaged in sporting activities and wish to improve their performance. The first eight covered exercises one through nine. In fact, each exercise is made up of three parts, a yin part, a yang part, and a balancing part. Exercise number 10 is called Green Dragon Undulates His Tail. All three of the moves in this exercise involve the development and use of cross energy. The yin move begins as you inhale and stand with your feet together and fists at your waist. Exhale and step to your left and perform a vertical punch with your right hand. Your body is now in a bow and arrow posture. Keeping your eyes on your hand, inhale and bring your hand back until it brushes against your right thigh. Exhale and bring your hand up above your head as you snap your head to the left. Repeat the move on the other side. Do it a total of eight times. This move may also be done by stretching rather than punching the arm forward. The young movement begins by inhaling as you stand with your feet together. Exhale and step with the left foot first and rotate your left arm around until it is behind you. At the same time, rotate your right arm out away from you and back in a smaller circle which ends with your hand under your left armpit. Turn your head so that it follows your left hand. Repeat the move on the other side. Do this move eight times altogether. The balancing move begins with your feet together and hands at your side. Bring your hands to your waist and step forward, left foot first, twisting into a dragon stance. Be sure that your head remains facing in the direction you originally stepped and that your shoulders and elbows line up with your head. You may breathe naturally as you do this posture. Do each posture once but stay in it for as long as you are able. Cross energy does not involve reeling silk energy. Cross energy occurs when the shoulder and the hip are at different angles. The internal source of this energy is the liver. There are many examples of the use of cross energy in the martial arts. Hip throws, cross hand strikes in Tai Chi Chun, cross leg kicks in long fists and hip strikes. In hip throws and hip strikes, the shoulders go in one direction and the hips go in the other.
The eleventh exercise is called maneuvering the horse left and right by controlling the reins. The movements are designed to strengthen the diaphragm, which is involved with breathing and bringing qi to the dantian. The diaphragm also controls the exchange of upper and lower qi. The first two moves in this section use regular breathing, and the adjustment move is reverse breathing. The first movement is a yang stand with your feet together and fists at your waist. Bring your left arm around and clasp your right forearm. Kick your left leg, toe pointing forward, and forcefully extend your arms. If you can't kick, just bring your knee up. Use your diaphragm to exert your power, and then using your diaphragm, hold this posture for a period of time. Repeat the move on the other side. The Yin movement begins on an inhalation with the feet together. Step to the left and exhale into a bow and arrow with the left elbow striking an imaginary opponent. Notice that the right palm reinforces the left arm. Inhale and then exhale as you bring the right foot behind the left foot, and with the left palm supporting the right arm, strike with the right elbow, performing at the same time a tiger tail kick with the right heel. Try to make the right elbow strike. And the right heel kick both face upward. Use your focus on the diaphragm to maintain this posture and keep your balance. The adjustment movement begins by standing with your fists at your waist. Step backwards on the left foot, punching up and forward so that your back and arms form a straight line. As you do the posture, inhale, but have your stomach, including dantian and diaphragm, cave in and contracting as you are in this posture. Exhale while stretching outward with your arms and expanding both the dantian and diaphragm. Keeping the stance, inhale again, compressing both the dantian and the diaphragm, and exhale, stretching the arms for at least three breaths. Your stance should now be 70-30, with the 70% of your weight on the back foot. This move involves reverse breathing, which means that when you inhale, both the dantian and the diaphragm contract.
The diaphragm is involved in breathing and in conveying chi to the dantian. In regular breathing, when the diaphragm expands, the dantian contracts and vice versa. There are five types of breathing in martial arts. The first is the regular breathing, where the dantian expands as the air is inhaled. The second is reverse breathing, where the diaphragm and the dantian are both compressed as the air is inhaled. The third is called turtle breathing, which involves taking slow breaths which are hardly visible. This type of breathing is very important to pushing hands or other activities where you are attempting to listen to your opponent's movement. Breathing like a turtle is slow, maybe only one breath a minute, and the inhalation and exhalation are almost imperceptible. The importance of this is seen in terms of the fact that when a person exhales, they become vulnerable to an opponent's attack, and for instance, in push hands, if you push your opponent as they exhale, they are more likely to be moved. The last two types of breathing are more advanced. They are prenatal breathing, such as done by a baby inside the womb, and pore breathing, where you breathe through the pores of your skin. Master Su will not be working with these last two methods during the seminar. An example of regular breathing is the block and punch. One inhales as one blocks and exhales as one punches. Thus, the block involves an expansion of the dantian and contraction of the diaphragm, and the exhalation punch involves the contraction of the dantian and expansion of the diaphragm. In regular breathing, the relationship between the dantian and diaphragm is inverse, but in reverse breathing, it is direct. Thus, as the move is done, one inhales and both tight.